Hello, welcome back. Today's the day. <laughs> I know a lot of you, I, I've seen that on, 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 on many places, really counted the day until we get this one. The new edition of the Beatles Revolver. Yeah, and you know, sometimes things went good. <laughs> Yesterday I came, became the information that my Beatles revolver was shipped and then I got the time Friday between 2 p.m. and 11 p.m. Okay, so Saturday it will happen and then at 10 o'clock in the morning the Amazon man came and in the package was this Revolver 4LP Deluxe box set. I said, hey, cool. I took the day off. I deserved it in a way. Trust me, it's okay when I once take a day off. And did all the listening, all the comparisons, made my thoughts. I said, come on, let's do the video. I, I'm, I'm, I'm ready. And what we do now in this video is of course, we go through the content of this beautiful packaging. We compare the supposed to be all analog mono reissue. And of course, we talk about the new remix stereo version of Revolver. And I give you if you're still interested at the end, more at the end, my impression, my, my thoughts on, on, on this whole packaging or about the whole thing that they do with it. Okay, as I said, let's start, let's start with the, with the, with the content. So I've already shown the box set and this box set, in my opinion, is on the strong side if I compare it to the other box set in recent years this one is on the very strong side compared to other box set very sturdy beautiful glossy packaging very very well done of course it comes with a hype sticker yeah we have the hype sticker and the hype sticker is quite interesting and it says the Beatles Revolver Super Deluxe 4LP Edition. New stereo mix by Giles Martin and Sam O'Kell. Two sessions, two sessions LPs of outtakes, rehearsals, demos and studio chat. Original 1966 mono LP, 180 gram vinyl plus 7-inch bonus EP with paperback writer and Ryan and Rain in new stereo mixes and original 1966 mono. A 100-page hardback book with the foreword by Paul McCartney, extensive historical and track-by-track -track information, rare photos and memorabilia. Okay. The seven inch. Comes in this, of course I will also put it in a in an outer sleeve with an archival inner sleeve. This is a beautiful edition. Nice, nice one. Here we have the beautiful gatefold jacket of the Demos, outtakes, rehearsals, and stuff like this. Here is this gatefold. Backside. Same as the uh, backside of the box set. Again, well made, nice gatefold jacket. Show you the label and the vinyl, yet again on 180 gram vinyl. Double album, I, I, second album is exactly the same as the first. 
And then of course we have, give me a second. And then of course we have the two albums. The supposed to be analog mono. Here you can see, wait, is it here? Ah, oh, come on. Here, mono. And the new remix stereo. You know this photo already, of course. And, of course, okay. <laughs> The beautiful booklet, hardcover book, and let's go through the pages. I hope it's okay if I take a bit, of a little time with the book, that we go as good as possible through it, so that you get a good idea of what to expect about the quality, the quantity how much for how many photos how many and uh, this is again this is real 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 added value when it comes to these kind of box sets great great stuff great photos i love that see they really go in deep they really treat us with a lot of photos, information and stuff like that. So this is top notch, great, beautiful to have it. Although, in a way, of course, we, we, we're supposed to get this quality. We are talking 200 euros here. I don't know that, of course, this prices may vary, but we are talking serious money here. And so, of course, it's nice that they do it. But <laughs> they should, to say the least. Another plus, another good thing, this release comes all, also the extra stuff except for the, the seven inch, comes in poorly lined inner sleeves. This is yet again another plus. So, where are we? Okay. Maybe in the, uh, the next part will be about the comparisons. I compared, now we are talking the mono. I compared the mono to the mono out of the notorious mono box set from the Beatles. This is this, is this edition. And let me get me back the, ah, here. My treasure, my <laughs> artifact and icon this very special first British pressing and of course the mono version we have here in this box set. I started with the mono out of the Beatles box set, then came the mono in this new release and at last I played my original and then I got forth and back and it was a tricky one. It was a tricky one, I can give you that. Let's start with the comparison of the Beatles Mono box set version and, and the new remaster. And that's where it really gets tricky. The new version, and I was surprised, I, I expected them to be identical in a way. But they aren't. They are not, in my opinion. The new one is cut way hotter. It has a slightly broader and slightly broader and deeper sound stage. It has way more bass. Really, there is a significant difference. And it has a certain hard for me to, to describe sharper punch than the version in the um, in the Beatles box set and at the beginning it was really difficult for me to decide which one do I like more if at all 
because the mono box set version is more laid back in a way, in a way. And you know, for example, <clears throat> there is a significant difference between them when it comes to the bass, the guitars, the sound chair, I said that. But then on, on, on other certain points, there is a strange difference. For example, on, on, on uh, uh, Taxman, this, this bell is more prominent on the mono box set version than on this version. And without w wanting to get too deep, um, the most surprising thing to me, for me was that they are not the same in a way. They aren't. Is there one I would like a bit more? Yes, after. This is now. This might change over time, like, like a lot of these things. Um, I like the new cut a bit more. It's more out there, it's, it's, it's a tiny bit fresher. I, I really, compared to the mono box set version, I do like this one a bit more. But, but not by much. Then again, I put on, and I don't want to, I, I linked the video where I compared the mono version box set against this one, where I got, got way deeper into the comparison as I do now. They still do not reach this one when it becomes to freshness, punch, clarity, dynamic, and the overall impression of a fantastic sounding record. They do not in a nutshell. So in a way, here we have the original, here we have the new remaster, and here we have the mono box set version. So I'm quite satisfied with it. No complaints. I'm, I think it's better than expected. Also important point, I, ex I didn't expect it to be that good, which is, with, which is of course a, a good thing. So that's for the that's for the mono version, and now let's get into the stereo, the new remix of the stereo version, which I didn't compare to to anything because it's a remix, and yeah, come on, something new in a way, and you know, in my last video, but a few weeks ago, we got this impressive in, in in many ways impressive remix of pink floyd's animals so this is of course a nice coincidence that we in a way have the same here with an iconic album and first and foremost and very important a big big difference this version the extras the vinyl came clean. I do have no complaints at all when it comes to this revolver release. That flat silent vinyl, great. I cleaned it <clears throat> but I didn't need to because there has been dirt or something like that and this was as you probably all know completely different here. But that put aside we have an impressive remix here that sounds great. How now, what can I say now about the stereo remix? And you know, the advantage of, of doing this now without having heard anything, any impression of other people, well, the, of course the taxman has been put out digitally, I think, but that doesn't count uh, uh, to me and, and I haven't heard anything about it. So I'm, I'm not tainted, I'm not biased. I just have my own feeling, my own impression. So please, con please <laughs> consider, consider that. You know, this, this, this revolver per se, let's, let's briefly talk about the album. For me, this is the first album of, of the Beatles and that's why I like it so much is where the Beatles are all on one page a band they are together they are on the same track at that moment Paul McCartney uh, was was a 
co real counterpart to John Lennon. They were on par when it comes to thre this this record. He really uh, uh, was was important when it comes to this record, and and the whole package is 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 great. Also, that this is such an existentialist album. It's about death, drugs, the the the. the it's about life. This this really makes it a great album. Yeah, I think a lot of us thinks that this is the best or their favorite, their favorite Beatles album. And um, yeah, now we get this remix. And of course, in the back of my head, I still have the Pink Floyd Animals, Apples and Oranges, of course. But I can't. But I can't. Uh, completely ignore that. Uh, I hope you understand and, 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 and feel where I am getting at. And again, what I have said when it came to the, to, the, uh, to the Animals remix, this is of course the second best way of doing it, because they made this totally strange decision to let the tapes rot in walls the argument, one of the arguments is, oh, we are afraid that the tapes got damaged and that they got lost. But if you think about it, to say we keep them in the vaults, we are talking about a physical media here. It, it means it's already lost. It's, it has the same effect. We keep it in the vault, we don't use it. The effect, the result is it's lost. So out of fear, to lose it, you lose it. A very strange decision, and I really don't know why, and, and, and it doesn't seem logical, and it's, honestly, to me, it's, it's, it's stupid. So, they do remixes nowadays. Okay. On the other hand, and that's what I really, give me this minute, uh, uh, please. You know, this one. Analog production, 45 RPM, Kevin Gray, RTI, analog production. And they did it, they beat the original. They did it. Of course, it took a lot of effort to do it. And maybe it's just a thought. And maybe they are just too lazy and say, come on, before, before we go through all of that, let's do a remix. It's cool. It's a new version. Okay, do both. Give us both. Okay, the remix. How does it sound? In my opinion, great. It really <laughs> does sound great. Soundstage, very well centered, beautiful overall sound. I really do like it. Is it the best thing we can get? In my opinion, it's not. They can do better. AAA, full throttle analog remaster from one of the big guns. Probably I would prefer if they do it right. But this remix, to my ears, sounds fresh, punchy, beautiful, not as warm as I would like to. It's, it's a bit... If, if you want to be, be uh, 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 critical, I'd say it's a tiny bit sterile. T tiny bit artificial. But this is really looking for something negative. Overall, I can imagine that if you are not a total Beatles revolver purist, that you really might enjoy this remix and say it's nice and good that it is out here. Same with the Animals, Animals remix, although it's not that. <gasps> but it's a different record, so don't take this comparison too serious. In, in a way, forget about this compa uh, uh, comparison, it's, it's not legit. But really, again, they did a great job. Really, it's nice to have. It's a beautiful edition, and I'm Overall, with the whole box set, I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised. Good job, thanks for doing this in this way. Although, of course, not perfect. 
Yeah, that's being that's being said. One other one other strange decision, in my opinion, or or or, or a, a decision that makes me suspicious. You get the deluxe box set. You can buy. You have CDs, of course, but let's t uh, stick to the vinyl. And you can buy the stereo remix. Those two options you do have. If you want the supposed to be all analog mono revolver, you have to buy the complete box set. You know, I'm I'm a bit afraid that they now make the first round with all analog mono remasters wherever possible and in most cases it's possible and a stereo remix and they can get by the stereo remix and for the next round in 2030 or 33 they do now we do the we do the stereo all analog remix uh, all analog version in the box set and we give you a mono remix so Keep the circle. Let it spin. Let it spin. <laughs> Let it spin. I'm a bit afraid and a bit suspicious that they might do that. Yeah. Okay. But on the other hand, we need to do videos. <laughs> we need to buy more and new records. It all has its upside and its downside. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see what happens. So okay. This is my take on the. Beatles Revolver uh, 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 4 LP Deluxe box set for sure one of the most important and most sold record of this strange and sometimes terrible 2022 okay thank you for your time see you on the next one bye